It's Get Up Time! I'm your friendly neighborhood host, Chris Killian, looking like your favorite English teacher. It's Valentine's Day, so let's start by talking about things that are breaking my fanboy heart. Rumors continue to circulate that Ben Affleck no longer wants to play Batman. Credible sources have stated he is in talks with Warner Brothers to get out of his contract. If this is true, who do you think you are, Ben Affleck? You're one of the luckiest guys on the planet being paid millions of dollars to play the GD Batman. That's like Zac Efron saying he wants to cut off his face because it's too hard being pretty. You shut up. Whew. Sorry I lost my cool guys, but you need to grow up, Ben. If you, it's, it's not like you're really Batman. You have stunt doubles. There's only two people who would be excited that Ben would give up the role of Batman. One is Alfred, and he doesn't exist. And the other is evil Matt Damon, because bald guys are always evil. <sighs> I'm sorry, Professor X. I didn't mean it. In DC news that doesn't piss me off, it was announced yesterday that Swamp Thing will be a playable character in the upcoming video game Injustice 2. <sighs> we needed that win, guys. Marvel Comics has released the full cover for Secret Empire number zero, the prelude to the next big event, and as you can see, we get our first glimpse of what appears to be Cap's new Hydra costume underneath. I'm still hoping they finish this storyline with the old, it was a dream the whole time ending because bad Cap sucks. And finally, we've got our first look at some concept art that promises to be an epic Ragnarok battle between Thor and Hulk, and as you can see, Thor has on his winged helmet, and the Hulk is wearing his Planet Hulk armor, and it looks like they might battle to the death, because they aren't quitters, Ben! That's the get up today. Go out there and find a Valentine, but don't be creepy about it. Follow me on Twitter, at Chris Killian, and leave some comments and tell me what you think about all this Batman nonsense. As always, leave it on comicbook.com for all the best geek news.